In economics, there's a thing called the point of diminishing returns. And it's actually a very interesting concept that all comes from a point of inflection. Suppose r of x is equal to 10,000 minus x cubed plus 42x squared plus 800x for x's between 0 and 20. The revenue function is in thousands of dollars for x thousands of dollars for advertising. So essentially what this is telling you, if you spend some money on advertising, you're going to have some changes in revenue. We want to find and interpret the point of inflection for this function. So I'm going to need to first get two derivatives. So the first derivative is going to be the derivative of 10,000, which will be 0. The derivative of minus x cubed is minus 3x squared. The derivative of 42x squared is 84x, and the derivative of 800x is 800. So r prime is minus 3x squared plus 84x plus 800. The second derivative is going to be minus 6x plus 84. If I want to try and find the point of inflection, I need to set this equal to 0, and then test it to make sure that the concavity actually does change. So when I set minus 6x plus 84 equal to 0, I can subtract 84 on both sides. When I do that, I get negative 6x equals negative 84. To isolate the x, I'll divide both sides by negative 6. So I get x is 84 6. When I reduce that, that gives me 14. So now I know what to put on the number line and to test in the, the second derivative. So I've made up my number line. Above 14, we know that the second derivative is equal to 0. And now we're going to test on either side. So 10 and 20. Notice that what I've picked fits into our interval right here. It's not always necessary to do this, but if it's easy for me to pick test points inside the interval where this is valid, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So when I put 10 into my second derivative, I get negative 6 times 10, or negative 60, plus 84. That's positive. If I put 20 in for x, I get negative 6 times 20, that's negative 120, plus 84 is a negative number. Always when you're testing here, if you're looking for things involving concavity, make sure you're using the second derivative. Probably the biggest mistake I see is people want to plug things into the first derivative. But when you plug things into the first derivative, it tells you about increasing and decreasing the slopes of the tangent lines. What I'm interested in this problem is I'm interested in concavity. And what I now notice is that it was concave up to the left of 14, concave down to the right. So there was a change in concavity. So 14 is a point of inflection. Let's take a look at the graph and see what that looks like. So here's my revenue function. It looks fairly straight here, but I know from what I've just done is that to the left-hand side of 14, the graph is concave up. So that tells me that this graph is getting steeper and steeper, and you can see a slight bend upward. Once we get to 14, it changes to concave down. So now it's going to get less and less steep, even though it's still increasing. So it's curving downwards. So this point of inflection is where we change from curving up to curving down. Now in the context of this application, what does that mean? Well, what it means is if we were to the left, of $14,000 of advertising, we're getting a lot of bang for our buck. As we increase our advertising, the revenue is getting steeper and steeper. It's going up faster and faster. 
Once we go beyond 14, now the revenue is not going up faster and faster. It's still increasing, but it's increasing at a smaller and smaller rate. So that means that the slopes are getting smaller and smaller here. In a sense, we're suddenly getting less bang for our buck. The point at which that changes is what we call the point of diminishing returns. And that's a point where people usually start considering that their advertising is not as effective as it was before. It's still effective because you're having your revenue go up, but it's becoming less effective.